All right, what's up, guys? Raider on here. Welcome back to Let's Play a Union Chronicle. Um, last time we did some quests for um, what's this guy's name again? He's there Broody. you are, Ymir. That's right. He's the first Titan. <laughs> <coughs> uh, we did some quests for Ymir. We recruited some people, and we um, met Bogan, and we recruited his team. And then we found a place that I'm going to guess is my going to be like my castle eventually. So I, that that's potentially a thing. And then I'm assuming we're going to get a quest that's a little bit more main story related now. This is my guess. It's Noah. <laughs> oh, great captain. I have a new mission for you. Already cleared it with Gar. You hail from the village of Kushiri, yes? Well, they've reported bandit troubles similar to Altverdin's. Oh, it's an abandoned mission? What? We just did this. I would like you to investigate. Well, 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 look who's piling on the work. Admit it, you think Noah's super talented. Noah is super talented. I think he's the one most familiar with the roads. Well, there you have it. I would imagine you'd leap at this chance. You must be wondering how your friends at home are doing, huh? I suppose I haven't seen Lean in forever. Who's Lean? Who, I mean, besides the princess of Guardia. But who's Lean? <laughs> Don't confuse this for a furlough. We've received all sorts of worrying reports, and I need you on your toes. Need I remind you about the Imperial Envoy? Sure. Now, decide who will be accompanying you. All right, so we've got our team of three, which are locked in. Gar, Leanne, and Noah. Uh, we just recruited um, <clears throat> some new players. Oh, it seems I can't use Bogan in them. Oh, I guess they're, they're, they're in prison, or they're, like, captured. So I guess we'll just stick with the team we were using before. Um, yeah, let's go with Marcia. Karuto. Sure thing. Let's go, Francesca. You've come to the right healer. And Yusuke. Always ready to kick some ass. Yep, let's do that. That sounds like a good team, just like last time. Great, let's get going. Um, once Noah tells us where to go. Kashiri is northwest of here, on the far side of the mountains. There's a pass west of Altfordin. A landslide was blocking the road recently, but it should be clear by now. Oh, I remember that road. Okay, nice. Yeah, it's go time. All right, let's. I actually wanted to take a moment to. Um, well, first, let's redo the party uh, formation because I want to make sure, like, Yusuke is in front because he's short ranged. Um. So let's put him in front. Let's put Leanne in the back. We'll still have Gar on point because I think he has the most health. Yeah, him and... Uh, let's put Yusuke in front. Yusuke's got more health than Gar. Oh, they have the same amount of health. <clears throat> uh, does Gar have more defense? A little bit more, but I don't think that matters a ton. Um, one thing I did want to do was change the battle plan. Um, I, I had a bunch of them targeting the same enemy, but... What's up, Nico? Welcome to the stream. Good evening, good evening. We're playing some Ayudin Chronicle today. Um, we're going to not target the same enemy. We're going to have him target... Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I guess he can target the same enemy. Oh, no. Oops. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, God. Uh, battle plan. Let's do Yusuke. We want him to target um, enemies with high attack, maybe? I don't know this game. Nito, what's the situation? Um, we are playing as Noah. And we are we're part of the... This is Aiden Chronicles. It's made by the creators of my favorite RPG series, Suikoden. And we are, um, we are part of the, um, what are we called? We're called the, like, the, we're part of, like, the state, like, 
militia force. And we are kind of... Uh, right now, we're like... I don't know, we just joined, like, the militia. And we are doing some starting quests, recruiting people to join our militia, and, like, helping out with, like, bandit problems. But in the big picture, there's a bigger political situation going on between the states, which is us, and the Imperial Highland, which <clears throat> there's a deeper story there, and I'm assuming they're going to, like, invade or something. I, I don't know what the story is going to be, but we met some of the Imperials earlier in the game, and they they discovered this powerful rune called, um, called the uh, Primal Rune, and they took it away. Organized Militia, Second Amendment, the game. I mean, we're just part of like a, a state militia, you know. Like we're uh, we're part of the um, the watch. We're like a, a local, like you know, uh, I don't know how to say it, but militia. We we are we are that. <laughs> so it it plays much very much like a traditional JRPG, as the founders intended. Nico says. All right, can we actually upgrade our weapons now? No, we cannot. So I think everyone's weapon's still stuck at level 3. Okay. But we have a lot of money now, so we can probably go buy some better armor for people, theoretically? <clears throat> uh, where's the armor shop? It's down here. Oh, actually, no. We have a ton of runes we need to equip on people. We have, like, a butt-ton of runes. Now, runes, the magic system in this game, they um, allow you to cast spells and use special abilities. So let's change our runes. Let's start with Noah. So Noah has one rune equipped already. You'll see there's a glowing swirly thing. And that's the rune of Swinging Slash. So now he's unlocked his second rune slot, which is an enhancement rune. So I can put a rune in this slot. Um, okay, so I'm going to give him a rune of power. Because I don't know why you would ever not do that. Um, Yusuke has not unlocked his next rune slot yet. His is at level 14. Um, Gar has not unlocked his either. Kuruto hasn't either. Francesca hasn't either. Leanne hasn't either. Okay, so just Noah has unlocked his second rune. Okay, good to know. Are there any runes here worth buying? Okay, so these, they're all, there's a lot of these passive runes I can buy to boost attack and stuff like that. Alright, I'm gonna actually, before I leave, you missed the G in JRPG in the stream title. Oh, thanks! Thanks, all the robots. Let me fix that real quick. Um, I think I can fix that, right? I can. I know how to fix that. Hold on. Hold on. I'm smart. I think I just go to... Uh, uh, <laughs> it says JRP. I love it. <clears throat> uh, stream settings? No. Analytics? No. Wait, can I not change it? I'm going to feel really silly if I can't change the stream title. There's no way I can't change it. Edit. Here we go. Here we go. I can. Yes. JRP. Oh, no. My keyboard thinks the dot button is held down. All right. JRPG. Here we go. All right. I have updated it. So it no longer says JRP. <clears throat> All right, let's check out the armor store here. Uh, I tend to not buy the upgrades if it's only worth one armor. It doesn't seem to be worth spending the money on it. Uh, but the bronze helm is good for Kuroto for two armor. It lowers his magic defense. Let's see what else we can buy. Um, thick robe is good. Not that good for Francesca. Again, one armor for some people. Yeah, it actually looks like there's not that much to buy for people. I'm going to sell some stuff. Uh, I have so much crap to sell. My bags are like totally full. Actually, what I'm going to do is... Because um, I have a storage in, my, uh, in the inn. So I'm going to store some of these items. Because I, there's no way I can use all of these. <clears throat> I really enjoy the, uh, the 2D sprites with the 3D background. I actually think it's really cool. I think it works really well for this game. Kids, right? Leave it to me. All right, let's just store all of this. Let's store all of this. Let's store... Oh, I have two runes of Earth. Yeah, let's store both of you. 
Store you, store you. Literally, I can only use these runes when I'm in town anyway. So there's no need for me to ever have them on me. Because I can't use any runes. I can't equip any runes while I'm like, you know, out and about. Alright, I think that means we're ready to go. Let's head out on our adventure. We're heading to Noah's hometown. I forgot what it was called. Uh, Kishiri. Kishiri Village. Uh, which way is the exit this way? Ba -ba -ba -da. Ooh, a cutscene. All right, let's go embarrass Noah in front of his people. <laughs> Our destination is northwest of here, through the mountains <clears throat> west of Alfredon. We'll be there in no time. Oh man! I'm oh my good. God, Leanne. Let's get going. In no time. Oh, oh, a cutscene. Okay, okay. What exactly are you implying, General Chapel? Frankly, Countess Groom. It is the opinion of the Goldean Empire that these disturbances near our border are of your manufacture. Uh, Chapel works for the Imperial Army, and Periel is one of the state representatives that... I think she's in charge of... she's like the Countess of Groom County, or something. So she's one of like the leaders of one of the state countries. General Chapel Roan. Exactly, right? <laughs> you want to pin that on me? <laughs> This is clearly Duke's Aldrich talking. I learned about the bandits at the same time you did. The Dukes is <clears throat> deeply concerned by these attacks and will tolerate no threat to the Imperial people. Chapel's not wearing enough armor <laughs> to be Chapel Roan. Oh, the camera angle changed. <laughs> Spare me. What is he really after? The Rune Barrows? Or another foothold like Norsefaria to aid his invasion of the League? <laughs> a wild accusation. We have witnesses who have seen members of the Eltis Vice Watch inside our borders, and if you refuse to extradite them... You'll bring troops onto our lands? You are the one inventing a pretext for invasion, no matter how you try to pretty it up. This is a search for raiders. No more and no less. Once they are found, we will withdraw our troops. You have my word. Oh, do I now? How delightful. Even the most artless swindler would spin a more convincing lie. I like Periel. I've always liked it since the beginning. So you can see, Nico, this is this is where the I had a feeling this is where like the story is gonna start taking off. And tensions between um the state and um the Galdean Empire is going to start, you know, causing problems. I wonder if I fight less ba random battles by following the road. Don't get careless. Nothing wrong with the good pretext. Every invasion needs one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, what is an invasion without a good pretext for invasion? Yo, let's go, Noah. He's heading for a hundred now with his with his rune. <clears throat> I think I went to the sound up just a little bit. It's a little bit quiet for me. So I'm just gonna turn it up just from 60 back up to, or 65 back up to 70. Yeah, let's try that. Uh, we're heading, no, back. We need to head, we need to cross the bridge. At least he runs fast on the world map. I just hate resorting to violence. Look, it's an egg. to see what Noah's hometown looks like. So, your village is on the other side of these mountains? Yeah. And since the soldiers are gone, that must mean they clear the landslide. 
Pretty Hooray. steep around here. Watch your steps. Thanks, Karuto. Oh, let's save our game. I wonder why he said that. Are we gonna be able to like slide down and lose our progress if we like fall or something? Let's check the map real quick. Um, it doesn't seem like that big of a area. Should be fine here. Chest up here? Yes. Let's grab that. <clears throat> Rune of Wind. Nice. New enemies. Look, it's a chicken, but with four legs. That's weirdly unsettling. You know what I realized that makes this game, that makes the battles feel a little bit weird? The enemies don't make sound effects when you hit them and something like that. I think that's something that seems like a little thing, but it would maybe make the game feel a little bit more, make the battles feel a little bit more interesting. What is this? Oh, I just took this like boar. <laughs> I just took it as food. What if I wanted to free it? That wasn't even an option. It was just like, oh, you want to eat this? <laughs> For sure. Get him, Noah. Oh, the enemy's 3D and you're 2D? I think the enemy sprites are 2D as well, yes. Uh, I think there are some enemies that are 3D. Like, some of the. Oh, I think one of the bosses I fought was a 3D model. A new rune slot for everybody has been unlocked. Great. Uh, I'm not going back to town though. I'm just gonna move on. Uh, the environment is 3D, but I don't think I don't think all the all the enemies are. Maybe some of them are. I think maybe that egg one was because it looks a little bit different when they're 3D. Uh, I'll take a look next time I fight the egg thing. Oh look, another thing. It's, it's weird. I'm just finding food. You want a piece of me? <laughs> Step on up. I, I really gotta say, all the robots, this game really um, reminds me... Wait, what was that? Wait. Wait, that wasn't a combo attack from Leanne, was it? I got like a, spe a special animation for her fighting that one. I was not paying attention. I was looking at my chat. That was interesting. I will have to watch that whenever we watch the video. <laughs> but of all the robots, this game has really... Uh, really strong circuit vibes from what I've seen so far. They did a really good job capturing, um, like, kind of the spirit of Suikoden. There's a castle, I'm assuming. There's character recruitment. There's like, political intrigue. So, wait, here it is again. Wait, what is this? I haven't seen that before. Interesting. Is it a rune? Or is it just whenever she, like, critically hits someone that plays that animation and it kills them? That doesn't even count as exercise. Interesting. I will have to look. It looks like a modern Suikoden 2. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I really think this studio did a good job. Punching the enemy into space. Yes, that's very much a Suikoden thing. Okay, this bridge looks way too big. 900 Bakwa. Let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna manually combat just to see. So hero combo is with the end, so we're not gonna do that. I'm just gonna attack, 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 attack. So Leanne is not Oh, she learned a new ability! Full torque spinning punch. That's what she's doing. Wait, that's so cool! So it's it's like Chrono Trigger, You're like your characters will learn new skills as they level up. Wait, now I gotta check if everyone has new anyone else has new runes. No, he's still only no swinging slash. Did Yusuke learn anything? No. Did Gara learn anything? No. Kuruto doesn't have a rune lens that has an activated ability. Oh, she learned a calm fury. Convert rage into power. Enter a fired up state. Duration three turns. Cost five at oh, five SP is a lot. Wait, so Francesca can do SP moves and MP moves? Um, SP is something that characters generate every turn, and they can be spent on special abilities. Um, MP is used for casting spells, unlike in Sugaden, um, you actually use MP now to cast magical spells. 
And I always thought that a character could choose between SP abilities or MP abilities, but Francesca can do both. Which is really cool. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep going. Check the map real quick. Uh, looks like there's a path this way or the other way. Let's go the other way because it looks like there's like an offshoot over here with potentially a chest in it. I'll probably have to check both just in case. Let's do this! That's what you get. I do wish there was a speed up function for um, auto battle. I feel like that's something that most modern RPGs would have, and I'm surprised this one doesn't have one. Because once you've seen the auto battle like a hundred times, you're kind of like, nah. I just want to get through it. M maybe I'll get it later. I don't know. We'll see. What's with these like single chickens? Oh, I didn't kill it. What? That's what you get. All right, let's check up here. Oh, there is a chest here. All right, let's just check around here to make sure there's not another chest I'm missing. Oh, another meat. I haven't really figured out what to do with all this like crafting items I'm getting, like the meats and the woods that I've been getting. So eventually we'll use it for something, I assume. We cleaned right up. Nice. I like the character designs too so far in this game. I'm really enjoying um I mean, we don't have that many characters yet, but I'm really looking forward to recruiting more characters and, like, building out the team however I like. So I think one of the best parts of Suicide Online Games is the, cust the party Any customization. Oh, you missed, Yusuke. What are you doing? Ow. be the end of it. That's the last segment, I think. Coming around this corner, another food. How much food have I gotten? I've gotten like... I have 20 food, and then 18 lumber, a bunch of stone, iron ore, a bunch of fish. Oh, iron ore is used for the development of a town. Stone is for the development of a town. Interesting, okay. So this game is basically telling me that I'm gonna be like building my town with these rages, which is pretty cool. I'm excited to get that. When do I get my castle game? Last one. Stay the hell down. All right, that's the end of it. Oh, there's a save point here? Wait, really? I'm surprised they put another save point right here. It wasn't that hard? Now that we're over the mountains, Kashiri is just a little ways to the west. We're here to deal with the bandits, but we should still stop by Noah's village first. Yeah, I want to see who Lean is. Further to Kashiri, <clears throat> right? Wait, when when Yusuke walks, he like shrugs his shoulders. What are these guys? My, my, my. I wasn't sure who we were tailing, but now I'm glad we did. All right, who's this guy? All right, we want to orient the map this way, I think, because we're going west, right? Um, Kashiri is right there. All right, nice. Look at this cute little town. Every town here has like a little like, I don't know, so I call them solar panels, but every town has a little solar panel in it. Look at it. Okay. 
Shiri Village. Did Noah tell us about his parents? I forgot if he told us about his parents. It's my assumption that it, his parents are dead. <laughs> like most main characters. So this parents. is home sweet home, huh? Yep. Lean is going to be so surprised. Who's Lean? You keep talking about this Lean person. Is she your sweetie? <laughs> <laughs> she's my little sister. Uh, okay. No, she's my little sister. Didn't I tell you that? Love me a medieval solar panel installation. Yeah, how else they get power for their crops? <laughs> Boring. <clears throat> yeah, I would have pried, but you always breeze past her in conversations like she's off limits or something. Well, maybe I'll just elbow in and tell her I'm your girl. <laughs> oh boy, man. Parents have no business being in a story, Nico says. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at your face. Anyway, it really has been too long. I hope everyone's doing all right. The day I left for the watch, the village threw a big feast to wish me luck. Oh, Sounds that's like adorable. a nice community. Why do I have this feeling well, this town so is going to get me. destroyed? Oh, no. Uh, the way he's talking about it. All right. What are the chances this town survives the next, like, two hours of gameplay? <clears throat> and what are the chances Lean survives? Oh, boy. Are the game devs cruel enough to kill Noah's sister? Oh, jeez. Are we Luca blighting this already? <clears throat> oh, boy. All right, let's talk to these guys. Hey, welcome, Noah. You've brought a lot of friends, too. Welcome to Kashiri Village, everyone. Nico says, if the parents truly have their children's best interests at heart, they'll get themselves killed by a dark lord. Yeah, because that's a guarantee that your kid's going to be like a freaking like um, some sort of like superhero for like the rest of the time, right? So guaranteed. So yeah, Nico's right. I'm trying your kid to be a hero. Oh, general store manager. Yeah, sure. What do you have? A healing herb, revival medicine, a crown. A crown of authority. Francesca can get that. Yeah, let's buy that for Francesca. It's actually really good for her. And we'll sell her tricorn hat. Um, I still don't know what the D over Gar and Karuto I mean. They have a little pink D with a shield over them. I don't know what that means. They got it earlier when I put a piece of armor on them. So I don't know what it does. You need to stop them from completely destroying the town by saving only the children. <laughs> All right, so Leanne can wear headgear, but nothing heavier than that. Okay, so I, Leanne and Yusuke and Gar. Leanne and Yusuke can all use a piece of headgear. So let's buy that for Liang. Let's buy one for Yusuke. And that was Amy. <laughs> Alright, let's see if um, Iron Mask Gar can wear. Oh, everyone can wear an Iron Mask. How expensive are these? 840? Yeah, they're cheap. Let's buy all of these. Let's buy all of them. Let's, let's gear up our team. Nice. And then cut proof vest, chain mail. All right, chain mail is the heaviest that Francesca, Yusuke, and Lian can go. So let's buy one of these for everybody. I'm gonna be broke after this. <clears throat> All right, then plate mail. Plate mail is as high as Noah can go. Noah's getting plate mail, and then full plate mail is for Karuto and Gar. It's so interesting, Karuto is like an archer, <clears throat> but he can wear like all the heaviest armor. Which seems kind of like a waste. Because he just sit in the back row shooting things. Anyone want to sell here? I don't think so. I, I do want to buy some better, um, I want to buy some quality healing herbs. But this guy doesn't sell any, so 
because the heal for 100 is pretty nice here. Okay, we got the inn. Let's just save our game for now. Don't think we need to heal, really. All right, let's check out. Oh, let's talk to these guys. Ah, young Noah, care to see my house? It's my pride and joy. Ho ho. Oh dear, that's all you talk about. Welcome home, Noah. Look at cat. Meow. This game has more pets than I've ever seen in any RPG ever. I'm pretty sure the Kickstarter or the fund like funding for this game, you probably got to put in your cat or something like that or your pet name and they would put it into the game because there's like 20 cats. Oh, Noah, I was going to make you your usual sandwich, but I'm just out of ingredients. Sorry, dear. Come again soon. Wow, this town's so nice. This this person just makes me sandwiches. Life goals. Ooh, cutscene, cutscene. Is that you, Noah? Hey, everybody! Noah's back! It's so good to see you. How's the watch? You must be the rising star. A real fighter. Just like your pa. Oh no, don't Not talk about his pa. Quite. I'm still finding my wings. <clears throat> Aw, look how much they love you. Aw, this is such a such a cute scene. That's I, I, I'm worried about this town. Welcome back, Noah. You look so much like your dad. Martha will be thrilled to see you. Welcome home, Noah. You look like a real man. If it's too hard in the watch, come back anytime, okay? Never forget, this is your home. Did we check out this house already? Did I, I think I didn't go in this house yet. No, this was Sandwich Lady. Just kidding. Alright, let's go into this house. Well, if it isn't young Noah, the strawberries aren't in yet. Sorry about that. I'm sure they'll be in soon, so come back and see. The villagers should really know better than to be in this positive <laughs> skull. <laughs> oh, Noah, welcome back. Was Lean at home? You turn your back for a second and she's off. You never know if she's there or not. Oh, this is the solar tower. Hey, sir, will you play with me? Huh? You don't have one? Ha have a what? I mean, have a have a what exactly? Chigire-san? Health Heathcliff Dunkel is the name of someone's cat. One of them should be really rude to you for purposes of plot protection. <laughs> hey Noah, welcome back. Have you been well? Your dad worked so hard so we could live in peace outside the shadow of war. Talk on the foreshadowing. Seeing you grow up so strong makes me as proud as he would have been. Noah, welcome back. Play with me. Hi, Noah. Welcome home. Taking it easy today? Whoa, it's Noah. Welcome back. What do you want to play? Oh, you're busy? Okay, come back another time. That sounds like a Dune character. What? Um, Heathcliff Dun Dunkle? <laughs> it sounds like a candy bar. Oh, Noah, you're back. Welcome home, dear. You want to know what's in this book? Why don't you take it with you? Here you are. I didn't actually know you had a book, but thank you. I dug it up cleaning out my husband's study. I don't need it for anything. Well, thank you, old lady. I appreciate it. Dunkle Idaho. Oh, is your character in Dune named that? Oh, isn't he like one of the main characters? I remember you told me about this person, and I was like, this guy sounds like he's from, like, a... He sounds like a cowboy. And here we are. It's Duncan Idaho. Oh, it's Duncan Idaho. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is your house? So this is the house where Noah used to reside, huh? Noah! I'm assuming that's not lean. Because that's not what I pictured. That's Margaret. Noah! you i've been worried sick 
Nico says, hey there, friend. Remember how dangerous the world is? Anyway, I just want to say I really care about you and just love being alive. I mean, that's basically what these villagers are saying. Hi, Aunt Martha. I'm good. It's Aunt uh, Martha. But don't get too excited. I'm just here on assignment. Well, I'll take what I can get. Oh, I'm just tickled to see you. You look wonderful. Uh, thanks, Auntie. It's so nice to meet you, ma'am. You might say I'm Noah's, uh, oh, what's the word? <laughs> I love well, Leanne. Let's just Leanne say is such a I funny character. A special place in his life. Uh-oh. You can call me Leon. What? Uh-oh. Uh, I mean, of course. <laughs> These things happen when a young man leaves the nest and so <laughs> forth. Poor Noah. Why didn't you tell me sooner, Noah? N oh, no, boy. it's not like that. Leon's just being weird. <laughs> then why are you ready to beat? Hmm? Oh, I can't wait to tell the whole village about my Noah, the lady killer. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's okay, it won't matter, <laughs> Noah. The village won't be around much longer. <laughs> wow. Thanks. I'm going to be untangling that mess for years. Or the next two hours. Let's just go find Lean. Yeah, I want to meet Lean. I want to meet this character who may or may not survive the next two hours of gameplay. Here we go. Oh, Lean's not even home. Lean? I'm back. Hmm. I'm picturing like a N N N Nanami character. But I guess Nanami is basically Leon. Is she not here? I mean, it's not like her to sit around at home, but. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wait, why? Is she really not home? Oh, is she upstairs? There's an upstairs. Okay, let me check out. Oh, there's a back door. Oh, we're just in our room. Ooh, is this your room? Oh no, this is this is Noah's room. I see his like uh, weapons on the wall. Is it that obvious? <laughs> a bro room for sure. I've seen quite a few in my time. <laughs> a bro room. I love it. Can I interact with him in here? I mean, he's got he's got some weights. They don't they're not the same weight, but that's okay. He's got his weapons on the wall. This guy's got the water barrels for training. A uh, cool map of something. He's got a teapot. I don't know, like a dart target on the wall. His room's kind of messy, I'm not gonna lie. Look, his, his punching bag's got like an angry face on it. All right, this room has personality, I like it. All right, upstairs to potentially Lean's room. I guess Lean's not home after all. Oh, she, Lean likes cats and fish. I hope the runes aren't smiling on the luckiest girl alive again. <laughs> what, is that, what does that mean? Who are you? What do you want? Oh shit, there's What's trouble. What's going on? Huh? Uh-oh. Shit's hitting the fan. Let's get this chest real quick. Red Riding Hood script. Oh my god. One of the things they had in Suikoden 3 was the ability to like make plays and you could cast like the characters you recruit in the plays. It was actually really funny. So is that what, I wonder if this, what this is. I wonder if that's what this is um, uh, uh, hinting at. Okay, real quick, we're gonna put a cut in here for the YouTube videos. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Next time we're gonna find out what's going on in this village. And I'm assuming it's the shaded figures that followed us here. We're gonna fight them probably, but we'll see. So yeah, thanks for stopping by everyone. And I will see you in the next episode. Take care.